Thank you for tuning in to my podcast as your host, David Randolph. If I may use for a topic, 10 were healed, but one said thank you. 10 were healed, but one said thank you. I was thinking about this of Luke chapter 17 when it was talking about the ten leopards. that were healed but only one came back to tell Jesus thank you. What got me in this well what stuck out to me in this verse is that the one that came back to tell Jesus thank you wasn't even a Jew. But he had enough knowledge to know where his help came from because he glorified God of his goodness and his grace. So it shows that he valued God's goodness and grace more than God's own people did. They would rather tell the Lord thank you from afar, but do not want to come into his presence to tell him thank you. Ah, we're living... And, 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 and we think about this, this pandemic times that we are living in. It's not, no, it's not over, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Now that the church doors have opened and they've been open for a while, but there's still some people that still have not come into the presence of God in the sanctuary. To tell the Lord thank you. They rather tell him from afar. But you have a non-Jew. That wakes up on Sunday morning. Don't even serve God. But have enough gratitude within themselves. They say, no, I don't serve them, but I'm going to tell them thank you. No, I'm not ready to serve them, but at least I can go and tell them thank you. But there are some believers that still have not made up in their mind, I'm going to tell them thank you. God has been good to us. He has been good to us and still is. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ten were healed. But one said thank you. And that one that told him thank you. Wasn't even a Jew. In other words. If we will look at it in today's term. Or use today's term. They were nine that was believers. But one unbeliever had enough knowledge to know where their help come from. I may not be serving them, but I just want to tell them thank you. The Bible says he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. The one unjust would tell him thank you, but the just would praise him from afar off. Instead of coming into his presence to tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. I, I just want to read this. Uh, it says, let's ask ourselves. Do we confess Christians really thank God? For what he has done. That's the question. Do we really understand. And value. The significance of what. He has done. And is continually. Doing for us. In our lives. Do we realize. How blessed we are. Or does it even cross our mind of how blessed we are? It says we will be like the Samaritan who glorifies God and falls down before Jesus for what he has done. Or will we be like the other nine who simply go on? And disappear after receiving what we ask God for. In other words, when we didn't have, we would glorify God. Now that we have, we don't even tell the Lord thank you. When we didn't have the job, we would pray, we would glorify God, thank God for our job. Now that he has opened that door for us, we don't even tell the Lord thank you. We don't even want to get into his presence. We don't even want to go to the sanctuary. We have to stay home and, and instead of going to the sanctuary and glorifying God amongst our Christian brothers and sisters. We don't even want to go to the sanctuary. We have got too comfortable, have got to relax. Taking it for granted. God bless us with this and he answers our prayer and we don't even have enough knowledge to tell him thank you. I want to read this. The uncomfortable truth is that so often 
We are more like the other nine than the one who returned to give them things. Hallelujah. Ten were healed. But one told them thank you. Help us, Lord. Help us, God, to not forget that it's you. That the reason why we breathe and we move and have our being is it, it help us to realize that if you are our source and our jobs and our income is our resources. And without you, we can't do anything without you. Hallelujah. We can't even breathe the air that you provided because the Bible said you breathe in the nostrils. Hallelujah. When you created Adam, you breathed in his nostrils to give him life. Hallelujah. Before we lay down at night, tell the Lord, thank you. When we wake up in the morning, tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Ten we heal, but only one told them thank you thank you for tuning in to my podcast help us oh god to tell you thank you